Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today is March 19th, and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update to the Galaxy S22 series. Now, this one is the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and I do have to state that there is one thing that is new on this screen, and I really hope that this is something here to stay that's going to happen every single month if there's any type of application updates. I believe Samsung has been watching my videos, taking a page from my book. If you've been around this channel for the last one or two years, you knew that I have always covered every single software for update and finding what has been new. So here we go, there is a full list of what is new, but there are still a few things that I will be taking a look at, such as Samsung messages, the camera, other applications, and the biometrics and security to see what else has been updated with this software update. Now the version this one ends in is AVC8 with a size of 1,258 megabytes, which normally on a monthly update, they're always right around 200, 300 megabytes. And this one is bringing you the March 1st security patch. Now this one is gonna be quite a bit larger because not only is some of these applications here updating, but also one of the biggest things that's been inside of uh, social media talking about the Samsung Galaxy S22 series, and that is talking about limiting the CPU, GPU performance. So it looks like here by performing this software up Update, your device will not limit CPU GPU performance during early stages of gameplay so it'll maintain a performance management feature based on device temperature so it's going to provide an alternate game performance management mode in game booster it also allow third-party apps to bypass game optimizing service the stability of camera has been improved overall stability of your device has been improved security of your device has also been improved so because this is talking about a alternate game performance inside of Game Booster. How about we just take a look at it right now just to, just to make sure it's not sitting there. And I also wanna show you how you can turn this on. So for Game Launcher, if you do not see the application, you wanna go inside of your settings. You're gonna scroll down to where it says Advanced Features. And then inside of Advanced Features, scroll almost all the way down, you're gonna see Game Launcher. Once you turn on Game Launcher, it's going to you know have a bunch of different settings and modes that can enhance your gameplay, but also put all of your games in one place. So basically when you have your game launcher turned on, you open up game launcher and it's talking about something inside of game booster. So inside of the settings over here, you don't wanna go inside of the settings right here, uh, where you technically want to go is going to be inside of Game Booster. Again, it's on the very bottom right hand side. You click on Game Booster, and then somewhere within here, we're gonna see this new mode. So I'm taking a look, I don't really see anything. Maybe it'll pop inside of this area right here. This is called Game Optimization. Uh, so now all we're gonna do, now that we have taken a look at that real quick, now we will update the phone, and then we're gonna take a look again at everything that is brand new with this update. We'll also go inside of Game Launcher just to see exactly what it is talking about with that new mode. Now, if you don't know where you can find your software update and if it does not prompt you right, right away just go inside of your settings you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says software update now inside of software update just go to download and install and if there is one sitting there for you that's where you're able to download it some people also ask me which phone i have this is a samsung galaxy unlocked device from samsung.com used here in the united states and i will be placing the at&t sim card inside also some people ask me about the case i'm using this is listed below the video inside the description. And this one is the Scooch Wingman case. It's one of my favorite cases to use on Samsung products. So you guys can click that link below. It'll take you inside of Amazon. And it's also this point in the video, I like to state if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So the update is done and complete. I took a look over at the software information over here. You can see we are running on March 1st security patch. Now, the other thing I also just noticed right now is that my S Pen has been disconnected from the phone. So yes, the phone will still work as a normal traditional S Pen where you can hover, you can use your air command, things like that, but it's the air actions. It's those additional features that come with the S Pen that has now been disconnected. And I think it's because the S Pen was out of the phone the moment it did a software update. So at the end of this video, I'll show you how you can just reattach the S Pen to your phone. Now, we'll also first take a look inside of the game launcher because I wanna take a look at that new feature that they were talking about. Uh, and then we'll go into more applications and the biometrics just to see if there's anything else that is brand new. So going inside of game launcher, I do plan to make a full video dedicated to game launcher because there's a lot of things going on with this application. But all you have to do is on the very bottom right hand side, click those three little lines. And this is where you wanna go inside of game booster. Now inside of game booster, 
Um, so it looks like actually labs was just added in. So labs wasn't there from before. So, uh, pretty much your game optimization is still sitting here as the same as before, but here's the labs and this is where it's sitting alternate game performance management. So when you turn this one on, it will use an experiential game performance management system that may improve some game performance tends to cause heating. So if you turn this on and it causes heating, this is something that you are able to turn off. Now, the other thing that I can see here is that that game optimization has now been replaced and is now grayed off. So you have to go inside of labs, turn this one off, then you can go here, game performance, and you can change it. So my guess is that that maybe possibly with labs, it's just putting it into performance mode. Uh, and then maybe when it's not needed, it'll come back down. So it might be some type of adaptive, kind of like the adaptive display we have. So maybe it's adaptive in terms of game optimization. So now I also do want to take a look at other applications. So the one that's sitting on the front out of the box by default is actually Google Messages. It's way better than Samsung Messages. But if you wanted to use Samsung Messages, just go inside of your Samsung folder. It's sitting there. You can bring it to your home page. But I wanted to see if there was a newer version. So before the update, this one was sitting at 13.1.2044. This one's now sitting at 13.1.2106. So Samsung Messages actually did have a small little update. Then I also want to take a look at, at uh, my files. So before the update, my files was sitting at 13.0.0.0.5.11. This one's now sitting at 13.0.1.2.1. So my files also got a small little update. Let's take a look at the home screen. So when it comes down to the home screen, before the update, it was sitting at 13.1.0.1.3. This one's at 13.1.0.1.37. So a small little update when it comes down to uh, the Samsung home screen. Now we're gonna go inside of the uh, biometrics and security. So we're gonna take a look at face recognition, fingerprint reader, things like that. So biometric security patch. So when it comes down to the fingerprint, it was 6004. Uh, fingerprint is now 6008. Uh, face recognition was 2115. Uh, face recognition is still 2115. And then the very last one here, we'll take a look at camera. This was something that they mentioned uh, should be new. There was some fixes with it. Originally it was 200132. 200150. So there we go. Pretty much every single thing that I wanted to take a look at has had an improvement or a change, newer version, um, except for the face recognition. So now to reattach the S Pen. So let's say that you updated the phone with your S Pen detached. All you'd have to do is you want to go inside of your settings. Uh, then you're going to go inside of your advanced features. So let's go to advanced features. This is where you want to find S Pen. Now inside of S Pen, this is where we go to uh, Air Actions. And as I mentioned from before, Air Actions is a bunch of things. So it's like, you know, what happens when you press and hold on the button of the S Pen? It opens your camera. Here's how you can do back, home, recents, things like that. There's a bunch of uh, Air Actions you can do inside of camera, gallery, the internet, office, things like that. So here we go on the very top right hand side, you want to go to Reset S Pen. All you have to do is just place that S Pen back inside. Give it a, just a couple seconds and it is now connected. So again, if at any point in time the S Pen comes disconnected, all you have to do is just go inside the very top right hand side of Air Actions, go to S Pen Reset. This is how you're able to get it back and paired with your said, you know, Galaxy S22 Ultra. So that is pretty much everything that I wanted to cover today. We will cover uh, the game launcher dedicated video later on. Uh, but if you guys appreciated this video, make sure you just give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.